really so well um i'm a mechanical engineer at netmo for uh, more than two years so i develop all mechanical parts of the product it means plastic parts uh, metal parts uh, all the screws and stuff so I uh, work uh, with a designer, external designer, and then my job is to develop it to uh, the technical uh, specification of all the parts. Uh, before that, I study engineering uh, in an uh, engineering school, mechanic school, uh, called ICAM. And then I study design products and design thinking in the Swat College, it's a design school in Paris. So I've got both uh, experiences. To talk about, uh, to talk about uh, Netatmo, so we develop uh, smart products such as security camera, a weather station with uh, anemometer, ring gauge, and also thermostats. So all our product is connected to internet, and so you can control it uh, with smartphone, tablets. Um, I can talk a bit about uh, the thermostats. So. I took through thermostats on the internet. So most of them are very complicated to understand. Uh, you don't know how to program it. You don't even know where to look, where is the temperature, uh, how to, to control it. There is a lot of buttons. So we wanted to, to make something really pure, clean, uh, really designed. So we, we work with uh, Philip Stark and we made uh, this product. I bring one. So, as you see, there is a screen, and the only information you have on the screen is the actual temperature and control temperature you want to, to have. Uh, there is two hidden buttons, so one on the top to uh, upper the temperature and the same in the button. So, uh, it's a really clean design, and you can also find the design inside the app because you can find the product with the same button, same temperature information, and all the programs are in other menu. So we really want to, to make it clean. So I try to explain how we can uh, do that. Um, so I will give you another example. Oh, there is big sets. Um, imagine a city asks you to, to design um, a gate to avoid the bicycle to, to cross the road too fast. So, well, if you are an engineer like me before, <laughs> you will maybe design that. Because uh, you will think uh, uh, the design more on objectives. So you want your design to be uh, reliable, so it's mean uh, adaptable to the, to the street and uh, available to install it. You want it to be functional, so it means uh, it's work as you expect. The bicycle can cross it, uh, bypass it, and it's usable. Okay, they can use it, uh, and that's it. So it's uh, the basic step you need to design something. But uh, if you came back, come back a few months later after the installation, you just uh, see that all the bicycles uh, bypass your, your design. They, they don't use it, so it's really useless. So uh, your design don't match with user experience. You, so you forgot something. You, you think that as an engineer, but you, you forgot to, to integrate uh, design thinking. So when you design an, an object, a product, you must uh, include uh, design focusing on experiences. So let me introduce the Maslow Pyramid. So um, it's a, a composition of all the stuff you have to, to check when you design a product. So the most uh, basic steps is for engineers. So reliable, functionable, usable. But if you also make a product suitable, it means really easy to use. When you, when you see the product, you know how to use it. You don't have to, to read a, a book to, to know how, how to use it. And it's work uh, how you imagine. You test something and it's work and that's it. Then, if your uh, product is pleasant, that means when I use it, I like, I feel a good time. So I want to 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 use it again. It's much uh, more interesting. And the most important thing is uh, if you try to to have a, a design significance. It means that uh, design have a personal impact in my life. 
That means I want to call all my, all my friends to test it, to, uh, to go to my home and uh, test my thermostat because it's perfect. <laughs> so how to do that? I will uh, explain you the methodology of design thinking. So there is six steps to, to follow. Uh, the first step is to understand. That means understand what is the context, who is the user, when he is going to use it, where he is going to use it, and uh, to, to, uh, to understand all the interaction with the product. Um, the product in, in Atatmo are quite confidential, so I will uh, show you another example. So I work on a product called uh, Moon, and uh, we, we try to, to understand the um, problem of insecurity at night. So as you see in the picture, in the darker place, you feel much more insecure, and you want to, <laughs> to go to the lightning place to, to feel more secure, more safe. So uh, we try to understand this, uh, this area, different type uh, of light or not. Then we continue to the second step, it's to observe. If you understand the situation, it's not uh, enough. You, uh, you must uh, observe how people use actual product. How can you, you improve it? What do they do before using your product? What are they going to do after? Where they do it? It's, so you, you have to go to uh, the street and uh, look at people, uh, interview them. So uh, that's what we have done. So uh, we took some pictures and uh, yeah, it's really easy to see that you feel much more uh, safe uh, in a uh, lightning place. But we also discovered uh, another thing. Talking with the city responsible, they told us that it's fairly imp uh, expensive and really complicated to uh, install a new uh, street light. It's, uh, it takes a few uh, months to uh, prepare a road. So uh, it was something we would like to, to improve and we discover it only by observations. So the third step is to define what is your goal of your product. What, you do, what do you want to improve? So for Moon, we have uh, three goals. So yes, to put light in the street, but uh, we also wanted to uh, facilitate the installation and uh, reduce the cost. And also we uh, wanted to be disconnected to um, uh, city electricity. Um, so then the three follow so following steps are ideate, prototype and test. So ideation, it's, uh, you try to generate a maximum of ID. You don't care the quality of your ID, you just need quantity. So for me, my best uh, technique is to use post-it with a group. You just uh, ask them to write down what do they think about the product. If they have, if they have any ideas, you can write through words or a sentence or uh, maybe a drawing. And you just try, try to uh, concentrate maximum number of ID, of ID. But there is many different methods such as uh, you can inspire by nature. Say, okay, I can do maybe something, uh, a city uh, light like this one, and you don't care. Or you can also combine two ideas. For example, uh, a car and coffee. Okay, let's do a car that can make coffee. So there is many different methods to, to create uh, uh, stuff. So that's what we did, we did for this um, uh, product, Moon and the ID came uh, quite easily. And we, we explained it with a small storytelling. It's uh, a fast drawing just to understand and to explain uh, the ID. So imagine you are in the streets, uh, there is no light, you feel uh, really insecure. But then a technician come with uh, the light uh, and uh, he can install it in a uh, in few uh, minutes. He just have to adjust the uh, so solar panel uh, to have the uh, to coach the maximum quantity of the sun, and that it it's installed, and then with uh, at night with a motion sensor, uh, when some someone comes, the light uh, uh, is in, and that's it. So uh, the the concept was easy, but uh, we had uh, many difficulties to imagine uh, the shape, the design of the product. So, uh, as I said, you just have to generate maximum of uh, drawing. So it's what we, we do. First, it was uh, fixed design, 
then we imagine uh, like uh, rotation uh, movements in order to, to coach the maximum of sun. Yeah, other uh, drawings, like a ball that can rotate. And then we selected one design that uh, looks good and fall to be uh, much more uh, compact for tra transportation. And then we continue to the following step, it's prototype. Yeah, when you feel uh, one idea is good, you just have to prototype it uh, as quick as possible. So you don't need to, to call uh, a specialist. You just uh, use uh, what, uh, the stuff you have uh, near you, like uh, cardboard, uh, scotch, uh, you don't care, uh, anything, uh, your jacket if you want, <laughs> and prototype uh, quickly, maybe small uh, design or uh, real uh, size uh, design. So we did it, uh, this, this prototype in maybe uh, half a day, um, just to, to see what are the dimensions. And, um, and then we continue to the next step. The last step is to test. Uh, so we, you must, uh, you have to test uh, the product yourself, but also other people. Uh, if you can, the final user of you, your product uh, can use it uh, t and test it to give you insight and feedbacks. So we gave the prototype to, to them and they told, they told them that the arm was really too long and it's really difficult to carry it. So um, that's why there is uh, some uh, uh, curve hours. It's because you can come back to a uh, uh, step before. So we came back to, um, to ideate and we also generate much more uh, new ID with a, fo a foldable arm. And then we try to, to do a, a 3D models a prototype with a, with a arm. And to, to check the size, we just compare it to a, 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 a human to see the, yeah, the side. And then we work on more the detail, what to put the uh, motion sensor, the light, the arm. And uh, we finally uh, did a, a prototype, functional prototype, and we tried to, to install it to, to make sure it can uh, be uh, uh, useful and uh, easy to use. So that's uh, six steps to follow, understand, observe, define, and then more uh, practical, it's ideate, prototype, and test. And I hope with all this uh, Design thinking because you can uh, reach uh, all these specifications uh, reliable, functionable, lisable, suitable, pleasant, and significant. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
uh, at net but not, excuse me at netatmo our product are quite confidential so it's uh, quite hard to uh, invite uh, external uh, uh, consumer to test our product so all the people in the um, company are a finite user so we can uh, invite uh, like marketing team to to test the product and uh, to say uh, to us how can we improve it and so it's what we do uh, during the uh, developing process mm. Thanks a lot, Martin. That was fantastic. Um, did you introduce design thinking as a, as a new approach? And if so, how was that? And were there any um, particular books or similar that you used as the template for your process? Um, well, design thinking, I learned it uh, during my uh, master at Strat College. And we've learned that uh, it was created by Tim Brown. I didn't read uh, his book, but I'm sure uh, he, did it, he did one. So he created at uh, Stanford like um, 15 years ago. So I'm sure you can uh, find one. And also um, the main um, company that uh, brings design thinking is uh, IDEO. So um, you should uh, find uh, a lot of information from them. How many de designers are working with you in Netadmo? OK. And uh, UX designers? Researchers, etc. Um, well, for uh, mechanical design, uh, we work with external designers, so like Philip Stark, um, Alexandre Moronos, and others. So they are not integrated in, in inside Netatmo. Uh, as uh, mechanical engineers, we are four people. And then for UX, uh, I don't like to work a lot with them, but I think there is two uh, UX designers and uh, many developers. Um, that's it. <laughs> Thank you.